after being in contact with the DA's office early uh, this morning, um, knowing that the hearing was this afternoon, we were able to negotiate a bond, uh, on recognizance, a $10,000 on recognizance bond um, for Mr. Hearn. So we avoided the preliminary hearing, we just waved it over to Superior Court. Uh, so there'll be no hearing um, this afternoon. So what's the next step? Well, the case has been transferred, obviously, over to Superior Court. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Letitia Sykes will be the attorney assigned uh, to the case from the DA's office. I did speak with her um, this morning about the case, and like I said, we were able to take care of the bond issue. And I'll see if she'll be the assigned uh, prosecutor on the case, and we'll probably speak sometime next week. And do you know what the prosecution has on him? Like what, what they're alleging and charges and um, what at this your time, client did? <laughs> um, at this time, I don't want to go into the details. I have um, been able to take a look at the police reports in the case, um, but I just don't want to go into all the details. And that was one of the reasons uh, that both parties wanted to award the, uh, the preliminary hearing so that both sides can continue investigating and working on the case without exposing uh, all the details and what's going on. What? Why would they need to keep it secret? I mean, is there? Well, I don't. I don't, I don't mean to, to say it in a fashion to keep it secret, okay. but obviously, you know, they're still doing their investigation and talking to witnesses, and this obviously gives uh, us an opportunity to talk to witnesses um, as well, mm -hmm. uh, so both parties can, uh, you know, investigate the case and talk to witnesses without any type of uh, interference or, uh, you know, publicity on, on the case. Can you say what the mode of communication was we're talking about? like texting or sexting well I can only I don't want to like I said comment on the uh, on the reports that I've been uh, that's been made available to me uh, okay. obviously there's been some details made uh, because I believe that uh, at least one of the news uh, channels I did do a report and I believe there was a, an article in the newspaper but I don't want to expound on what was already mentioned in the report. So is he going back to school? Is he going to be working with students? And now that uh, them? we have, we haven't had an opportunity, or I haven't had an opportunity to talk to anyone in human resources from Muscogee County School District. That'll probably be my first call on uh, on Monday to see what position they're in, uh, if they've moved toward some termination, if they're moving toward um, suspension. Um, uh, with pay, suspension, without pay. So those are some answers that I'll, I'll probably know um, probably by lunchtime on, on Monday morning when I talk to somebody from human resources. I think the main thing that anyone has to remember is this. Anyone that's arrested is innocent until proven guilty. So I'll just, I'll just stand on that.